Good morning everyone, I have good news about Tesla's 4680 battery production. Tesla Giga Berlin's 4680 battery cell production is nearing as government decides battery factory subsidies. Friends, Tesla Giga Berlin has started building the foundation of the world's largest battery factory, as you know, slated to produce 4680 battery cells. As Giga Berlin nears 4680 cell production, the state of Brandenburg, as I reported yesterday and the federal government are mulling over the amount of state aid Tesla will receive for its battery innovation. What I say next is very important. The state aid is nearing because Tesla is also nearing the battery uh, 4680 battery cell production. This is very important because we know that from what we know so far, uh, Tesla Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, they are all contingent on 4680 battery cell production production in Giga Texas, but now in Giga Factory Berlin, the Model Y as well. According to local government updates, the Brandenburg and the federal government will conclude administrative agreements over the joint funding Tesla will receive for its battery cell research and production at Giga Berlin. According to Tagesspiegel, Tesla could receive 1.135 billion euros from the Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy for Giga Berlin's battery cell factory as part of the European Union's important project of Common European Interest, IPCEI. Uh, that's the initiative. However, funding agreements are still ongoing. The Parliamentary Committee for Budget, Land, Finances, could issue a referral for this fund this Thursday, coming tomorrow. Um, it's a very interesting name, use important project of common European interest, because battery production in the European Union, I mean electric vehicle battery production in the European Union is indeed a common European interest, because in uh, Southeast Asia, in China and Korea, the electric vehicle battery production is taking some leadership, because the major battery producers are from these countries, like Cattle, SK Innovation, Panasonic, and so on. But Europe thinks that if Europe wants to be in a leadership position in the upcoming decade, it needs to make its own battery productions. This is why Europe is giving lots of money to those companies who will produce electric vehicle batteries in the European Union. In the beginning, we were thinking that this is going to be only for European uh, companies. But look there, look, it looks like they will be giving 1.135 billion dollar a billion euros to Tesla alone. The State aid is being offered to Tesla for its project called clean and cost-efficient assembly and recycling of batteries, facilitating renewable of electrification in Europe. The project qualified for one of the programs in the IPCEI, which, like I said a little bit ago, is EU's important project of common European interest initiative. Earlier this year, Tesla won public funding for the IPCEI program called the European Battery Innovation Program, called EU bat -Ain. The commission approved 2.9 billion worth of fundings, that's Euro funds, for the EU bat -Ain program, which focuses on research and innovation of the local electric vehicle battery value chain. If Tesla receives 1.1 billion euros in funding for Giga Berlin's battery factory, it will get a third of the overall funds approved by the Commission for the EU bat in program. Germany coordinates the EU batting program. The Commission's approval allowed Germany's BMW i to grant funding support to 11 companies operating in the country, including Tesla. BMW i believes uh, Giga Berlin's battery could result in 2,000 or more jobs in Tesla's Grünheide plant. So far, about 1,000 jobs are planned for Tesla's battery production facility in Germany. By the way, BMW i has nothing to do with the BMW company. It's related to the battery program, uh, um, uh, the, the program provider. Now, German politicians and bureaucrats are moving way faster 
than their counterparts in the US when it comes to prioritizing grants and subsidies for battery projects, friends. This is a good news. Germany wants to ensure that its auto industry continues to thrive in the electric vehicle age, regardless of Tesla's success. In the United States, Congress is divided over grants and subsidies, and the administration seems to be more interested in taking a hard line against Elon Musk instead to getting out of his way or seeking his help. Now, I think that when the as the gas prices go up in the United States, uh, electric vehicle industry or sector doesn't need any more subsidies, right? So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts about when Tesla will start producing the 4680 batteries that it announced uh, last year in September. One year has passed. It was announced last year, September 20th on the Tesla uh, battery day. And now one year has passed and the Tesla is just starting to build battery factory. Although it's uh, the pillars are going up, Tesla is looking for battery production partners in Asia. So let's see. I think we're still at least uh, six, seven months away, if not more. But I have another good news for you, friends. Tesla China posted record 44.2 thousand sales in August, a 34% month over month increase. Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi has the details saying Tesla China's August numbers are in and they show that Gigafactory Shanghai is hitting its stride at the company's primary vehicle export hub as per, as per, um, data released by the Chinese Passenger Car Association, CPCA, on Wednesday. Tesla exported 31,379 vehicles in August from Gigafactory Shanghai. Together with domestic sales of 12,885, Tesla China effectively sold a total of 44,264 vehicles in August 2021, an increase of 34% month over month. Tesla's numbers from China last month truly shine when they are compared to July 2021's overall results. In July, Tesla sold a total of 32,968 vehicles, including 24,347 that were exported to foreign territories. Domestic sales stood at 8,621 units, compared to 6,477 Model 3 and 2,144 Model Y electric vehicles. Tesla's August numbers, uh, Simon Alvarez notes from Tesla Radi, are extremely impressive considering that the company faced severe chip shortages in August. The chip shortages were so notable that Gigafactory Shanghai had to pause operations for four days. Without this handicap, Tesla's China's August numbers could have easily been even more impressive. It should be noted that Tesla's China, Tesla China's August numbers are even more impressive than some estimates from avid Tesla bulls. Tesla bull Troy Teslike on Twitter, whose estimates have proven quite accurate over the years, estimated a total of 37,694 vehicles from Giga Shanghai, and even then, such an estimate was already bullish. With exports being far more than domestic sales in August, Tesla bears would likely argue that the local demand for the company's vehicles is drying up. This is unlikely as the company tends to focus Gigafactory Shanghai production on foreign territories in the first two months of every quarter since exporting takes several weeks. Tesla China's September numbers would likely be heavily focused on the local market with only a few vehicles being sent abroad. Signs that Tesla China is already mobilizing for a heavy push into the domestic market were evident in recent drone flyovers of the Giga Shanghai. Um, Giga Shanghai site, as could be seen in a recent video of the Shanghai based electric vehicle plant, Giga Shanghai is currently a hub of activity with the factory churning out large volumes of Model 3s and Model Ys. Numerous car carriers, trucks could also be seen in the facility, likely waiting to transport cars to local delivery centers. 
Well, friends, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about uh, Giga Berlin nearing the 4680 battery production and the, uh, the European Union giving so much money, I think covering about the fifth or the almost uh, fifth more than the fifth of the cost because it looks like the Giga Berlin's battery factory, as I reported yesterday, is going to cost about 5 billion euros and 1.1 billion is coming from the European Union's common interest funding for electric vehicle batteries and I think um, we're about, in my opinion, it's about six to eight months away from Tesla producing the 4680 battery at Giga Berlin, maybe earlier with partners in Southeast Asia, uh, Cattle, SK Innovations and others, Panasonic, who are partnering, who will be partnering with Tesla uh, for the 4680 battery production. Regarding China sales, um, I think they're very impressive. Let me know your thoughts, friends. 44.2 thousand sales in August, a 34% month-over-month month increase. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you. Be kind to one another. Let's do only good and be good examples for other people. Peace be with all of you, and I'll see you soon in your next in our ne next report. Please subscribe to our channel and also tweet it out. Give us thumbs up if you found this report informative. See you soon, friends.